Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming back. This is part two of our AI NVR from Synology series, and we are going to add the Synology camera to the NVR in this video. Now, once we've got this added, uh, I'm actually going to take it, I'm going to put it outside because we're going to do things like, you know, license plate recognition and uh, uh, all the AI tasks that, that this thing can do. We're going to try it. We're going to do a video on, on each and every one of them. So I'm going to just take this, I'm going to set it over here on top of my switch. It's pointed at a, a rack of equipment. I don't know what we're actually going to be able to see or not see because I haven't looked, but let's... Uh, Let's not waste any more time. Let's definitely get into it. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to log into the NAS. If you were here for the last video, we set this up. Now, I have told it to remember me, so I don't need the MFA on this uh, particular computer. So uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to click on the Synology Start button. We're going to go to Surveillance Station. Now... We are also doing this together because I've not added the BC500 to this NAS before. So uh, IP camera, we're going to click add. It's going to search the network for cameras. And with any luck, there it is. It's going to find that. So we're going to select Synology. We're going to go to next. We're not going to get a snapshot because I think we need to authenticate. It requires authentication. So I believe I changed the username and password because it made me do that. So let's see if that's the username and password. And that definitely looks like it is it. So we are gonna call this one, we're gonna call this WH-BC500-1. I thought that was a good name. Good job, Synology. All right, so we can do a quick setup or we can do a complete setup. Let's just walk through the complete setup and see what this looks like. So our video format, I'm definitely going to go with H.265 to save storage. And I am going to disable audio. Here in, in Illinois, um, audio is, is uh, we're a two-party state, and I'm not going to put signage up and, you know, outside uh, I just don't want to deal with it. And this is how I typically deploy cameras. So we're just going to go with that. All right. So our high quality stream, we've got, uh, options for 2880 by 1620. We can go down to just, uh, 1080. So let's, let's run it on, uh, on high here and see what happens. 30 frames a second, a variable bit rate, image quality. We'll go with the highest. Then on balanced, it's 1080, 15 frames a second. We'll go ahead and leave that at default. Now, uh, pre-recording uh, and post-recording. So how many seconds before and after an event, whether it's motion or some other event that we have told the camera to record, how far, you know, how many seconds before and after that event do we want to record? I think five seconds is probably okay. Now, we can keep the files for 30 days. We can also limit the archive folder. So you can set a maximum amount of size for those video clips to be saved before we start overwriting them. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put 90 days in there. I think that's sufficient. I'm going to select the proper time zone. So we are in central time. Motion detection, we can either do on this by camera or disable. So we're going to do by camera. And what I'm going to do right now is instead of continuous, so you can see these different colors here. So when, when uh, Sunday through Saturday, so it gives us the week here, and then this is the time of the day. This represents 24 hours. It is military time or 24-hour uh, format. The color that these squares are, that's what um, the camera is going to do. So right now you can see as far as recording goes, right now it's on continuous, but I can change it to motion detection only. So it will only record. Now, here's the thing that some people don't understand. Your camera and your NVR, even if it's set to motion detection, it's still always recording. It's still always sending uh, or receiving. The NVR is receiving that. And it's up to the software whether we're going to keep those clips permanently on the drive until we can do something with them, whether it's that 90-day retention or we view them and delete them or whatever. Uh, here you can see it's got people and vehicle detection. Uh, so we could do that here. 
or we could just do motion detection. I think for now, I'm going to turn it on motion detection and we're going to do high quality. It's going to verify everything and it is going to process and add the, the camera. You can see it's updating the firmware. And we're going to add a few other cameras to it, not uh, necessarily in this video, but once we get this camera, the Synology camera mounted outside so that we can do those cool things like the lesson, license plate recognition. So it is still updating the firmware. So as soon as this is done, we'll be right back. All right, so the camera is done updating. So if I come over here and I click this, I should get... Oh, uh, so because I have it as H265, I can't do it through the web browser. I have to download the surveillance station, surveillance station client, which is absolutely okay by me. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and install it, and we'll be right back. All right, so that took a little bit longer than <laughs> what I thought it was going to. For some reason, my computer didn't want to run the uh, run the installer. I had to kill Explore, restart it, then the then the setup started. So uh, I also uh, am probably guilty of not rebooting as consistently as I should. And my computer is trying to push Windows 11 on me. So anyway, back to the video. So now let's go to IP camera. And this is going to start up. And when I click this, now I should get a live view. So this is a... A live view. This is my dry erase board over here. You can see I've got this cambium gear up here. I'm going to do some videos on. Got a pep link here, a juniper, some more cambium stuff, axis speaker. I got all kinds of cool stuff on the shelf. Here's all my dry erase markers. So that image is not, it's not too bad. Um, so that that's it. That's how you add a camera. But let's take a look and see there's some analytics here, so we can do motion detection, missing object, foreign object, camera occlusion, focus loss, or no idle zone. So we can do that. Let's see, motion detection, and uh, we'll just select all and save and see. There's not going to be any motion, but that's how you do a live view analytic. So we can delete this, uh, clear all, save it. Uh, yeah, we don't want to save. I may not have saved that to begin with. All right, so let's see what else we've got. We shouldn't have any recordings, but let's see, people, vehicles, license plates, motion, recording list, bookmarks, archive. We don't have any anything there yet. We're going to get into some of these uh, different options, but let me do this. Let me grab the camera. Let me move it around. Let's see. Let's go to monitor center. And let's see, I'm going to drag the camera over there and we're just going to move it and we're going to go, hello, 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 and then we're going to move it back over there. I mean, this has got a really good, a really good picture. So I wonder though, if that picked up, if we got any recording out of that, let's see. Oh, the other really cool thing, uh, yep, so we got a, a recording there, motion detection and tamper detection. So uh, tamper is, uh, usually they use magnets in the cameras, and when the magnets uh, move around, it detects, you know, that somebody's like jostling the camera. I've seen a high winds cause that uh, to go off on certain brands, but uh, we did get a motion detection. Now, the other cool thing about running Surve Synology Surveillance Station on your computer is you can offload... Uh, things to your GPU. You can do GPU acceleration. So uh, enable GPU decoder to offload work from the GPU. And you can tell it, you know, do, do it manually or do intelligent adjustment. Um, and then label the video streams that are using GPU decoding on the screen. Now you have to restart the player if, if you're going to do that. We'll come back to that. But let's take a look at this recording. It was 22 seconds. So let's see what it looks like. So you can see we've got five seconds leading up to the motion. I flip the camera. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Obviously, we can't hear that. Um, back on, the motion has now 
uh, completely stopped to the camera's satisfaction and you have five seconds afterwards. So it is working as is. So the next thing that's, that we're going to get into is we're going to add a non uh, Synology camera, and then we're going to start messing with the AI uh, analytics. So if you've got any questions about this uh, camera and this particular setup, let me know down in the comments. I'm still frankly blown away that you don't need to set up notifications anymore for MFA. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I'm going to get this camera uh, mounted outside. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. If you need IT consulting because you want to get your security camera set up, your storage, your Wi-Fi, your wired networking, your voice over IP, all those things. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. Just cruise on over to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, come back for part three of the Synology AI in VR.